Ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the office. I got the new floors in. They're a little bit echoey, so I got to deal with that, but you should enjoy the quality a little bit more than what we had from the previous week. Today, we're going to be continuing a series that I started on the channel about last week. And as far as that series goes, it's diving into all of the stories of the characters coming to Modern Warfare 2. Their stories so far, if you will. Most of the characters coming to the game were already in Modern Warfare 2019. Last week, we started with the man himself, Captain Price. Today, we are diving into a fan favorite, Simon Ghost Riley. Now, the weird thing is he wasn't in the campaign for Modern Warfare 2019. So you may be wondering, how is there enough story to go off of for Ghost? The answer to that is there's actually an entire backstory for Simon Riley, aka Ghost, that you probably didn't know about. So not only are we going to dive into the Modern Warfare story, we're going to take a little bit deeper of a dive into this character as well. And let me tell you, it's one of the coolest stories that has ever been in Call of Duty, but not in a Call of Duty game. You'll see what I mean once we dive into it. But as far as this goes, before we dive into Ghost, I first have to tell you about today's video sponsor. Today's sponsor is a cool one because today's sponsor is one of the ones I've heard the most feedback from you guys about. A ton of you are using it, finding it helpful, saving you money, saving you time. And that is, of course, sizzle.com. GG. What this is, is a website that you can go to and immediately download highlights from your YouTube streams and your Twitch streams. And the best thing about it is you literally don't have to do any work. Now, this website works with games like Apex Legends, Fortnite, Call of Duty, Warzone, League of Legends, Rainbow Six Siege, and FIFA 22. And there are many more games coming along those lines as well. Sizzle allows you to get your highlights in individual clips or compilations, and then you can take these and immediately upload them to Twitter or TikTok, things along those lines with just a click. And there's different filters that you can filter out kills, headshots, victories, things along those lines. It makes it super easy, super simple, saves you a lot of time, a lot of money. You don't need an editor, anything like that. The best part is it's free. If you want to check it out, it is the first link down below. And thank you, sizzle.gg for sponsoring the video. <laughs> there he is, Simon Riley. There's no picture. Never. Not a rest. That's neat to know. Now, Ghost was not in the campaign for Modern Warfare 2019, so we didn't get any backstory there. In fact, he wasn't brought up until the very end of the game when Captain Price was talking to Kate Laswell about Task Force 141 and putting that together. Now, I want you to keep in mind that in Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3, so Call of Duty 4 on, those games' stories do not apply to the characters within this universe. It's just kind of a reboot, as we've talked about before. Now, after that, we didn't hear anything more from Ghost until Season 2. Price. Something's wrong in Verdansk. They're targeting their own. We need to find out why. Send fighters I can trust. Ghost out. We then later find out that Ghost was born in Manchester and joined the SAS and spent the majority of his career serving numerous short-term deployments, executing covert assignments in classified location. He became an expert in clandestine tradecraft focused on sabotage, ambushes, and infiltrations. Now, the interesting part is at the end of his bio, it says Ghost concealed his identity under a hallmark skull-figured mask to maintain his anonymity in the field. The question there is why, and that is what we're going to answer in this video. Now, we're going to dive into that, but first, let's look at the rest of his story within Modern Warfare 2019. It picks up in Season 3, when at this point, he's not necessarily working for Task Force 141, but something called Armistice. And in Season 3, we find out something bad about it. The client's plan is working. The Armistice in Verdansk is officially fallen. It's bloody chaos. Tell me something I don't know. I got a fighting. Operators inbound hold to your position. So at this point, we find out that Armistice has fallen. And essentially, what we go through with the Verdant story is some of the characters have turned and are working for Zakaev, and basically everything is a mess. Stemming from the fall of Armistice is what we see at the end of the story of Warzone. And that would be the joining together of Task Force 141 and all of those characters finally coming together. 
This isn't over. Not by a long shot. My time is to actual. So, what's your position? Half a click off the coast. Things are really heating up out here. Hold tight. We're moving your way. On me. So that is essentially the main portion of the story that we learned from Ghost in Modern Warfare 2019. Now we can't look back at Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3 and take anything away from Ghost's story and extrapolate from there. However, Ghost has an entire backstory that you may not know about from a comic. This comic was released just before Modern Warfare 2 and gives the entire origin story of Simon Ghost Riley. So the way that this comic is told is that Ghost is being held captive inside a school. There are terrorists in there and essentially Ghost is being held hostage. At this point, Ghost takes it upon himself to explain why he wears the mask and what has happened. During this time, he is simply distracting the terrorists. However, you find out about his entire origin story. Now he starts off this story by explaining that he wears the mask to honor a dead friend. Now, that's going to come back later and you'll see what I mean. However, the story starts out by telling us about Ghost's upbringing in Manchester, England. We find out that Ghost had a very abusive father who would scare him, torture him, shove snakes in his face just to make him scared. Even going as far as to show his son a body of a woman that he just killed and make him laugh. Now, to get away from his father, he then joins the SAS, and in doing so, takes a bunch of training and essentially eventually becomes a super soldier that the SAS would use on super super confidential missions. Now, one of the missions that Ghost gets sent on is to hunt down a man named Manuel Roba, a weapon smuggler in Mexico. Now, let's take a minute because one of the missions that you actually get sent on within Modern Warfare 2, this is one of the missions that we saw, is in Amsterdam. You go in and find out that there is weapons being smuggled through the port. And at this time, you then hunt down and find out that it is a Mexican cartel smuggling weapons in Modern Warfare 2, a game that Ghost is in. The crossover is is uncanny. I just wanted to point that out. Now, at this point, Manuel Roba captures Ghost and in doing so, tortures him, throws him in a coffin with another dead body. But at this point, Ghost escapes and eventually returns home. Now, after returning home, Manuel Roba finds out that Ghost is still alive. And instead of hunting him down and killing him, he tortures him even further by instead killing his entire family and framing Ghost for the murders. Now, at this point, he finds out who carried out these murders. And as it turns out, it was a fellow SAS operative. So what does he do? He finds him, kills him, switches his own dog tags and lights the building on fire, therefore burning the building and making it look like Simon Riley was the one who died inside. And as he says, what was left was just a ghost. He no longer existed as Simon Riley as he hid his identity to stay away from getting in trouble. He then manages to track down Manuel Roba and take him out as well. As far as the rest of the story, he tells this story to the room of terrorists before Task Force 141 breaks in. And even before the original Modern Warfare 2 came out, this was the official reveal of Task Force 141. So that is the entire origin story of Ghost. We find out that he is just that, a ghost with a hidden identity. And because he had to go on this mission to track down Manuel Roba, therefore we got Ghost. But what's interesting is that this could once again tie over to this Modern Warfare 2 game as we are once again hunting down a Mexican cartel by the name of Los Almos. I don't know if it'll tie together completely, but I'm definitely interested to find out. But ladies and gentlemen, that is the full story of Ghost so far. Hopefully you learned something new, Ghost Origin Story. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you want to stay up to date on all my videos, everything Modern Warfare 2, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on, all of that jazz. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're